good morning guys welcome to today I'm sorry about the last few vlogs have just kind of been us doing nothing oh, it's just that it's almost Christmas you guys and we we're getting ready and it takes so much time to get ready for Christmas Remember this big box we got from Amazon can you guess what's in it what's in it Sam this little box really you're joking <laughs> this little box was in this big box you are joking that's how it came Wow, what a waste, Amazon. Do better. <laughs> Although I'm not actually saying that because I don't we I don't need it for presents though. We can put I'll it let... in there. Yeah, maybe that's what. God sent us an extra box for presents. Could have used a box like that yesterday. And in this box is another little box. Wow. And another little box. Two little boxes. Who's it for? Here, can you for you. It? It's for me. It's a new battery and a charger for the charger and a battery for the new camera. If it didn't come today, I would have wrapped it up, but because it's here now. So today is all about new presents. Let's see. Okay, so our new camera doesn't have a battery charger. You have to plug it to the computer, which takes forever. So, oh, you computer. still have to plug it to the computer? That's yeah. annoying as heck. Okay, thank you, thank you. And another battery. Because another battery. battery. So now we have two batteries. I'm going to charge this up because we are going riding today. You know, you can zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I should zoom out a bit. The zooming, this is all new, you guys. This is all new, this camera. Oh, I've, you got a battery. Yeah, so I'm going to plug this in. So we've been trying to clean up and get ready for Christmas. So we've, this is what we've been doing. I'm a super organized when it comes to like holidays and stuff. I always have things planned for a week before. So I have days that we're going to clean. I have days that we're going to cook. I have days that we're going to wrap presents. I have days that we have to do all the shopping. So I haven't done my groceries yet. I'm going to do those probably Friday. I like everything to be fresh and and ready for the holidays so i always wait to do groceries till the very last if you are a mom or you're the one preparing holidays at your house how do you guys do it like do you just wing it and throw it all together at the last minute because i really want to start doing that because we've been like getting ready for the last week we've been organizing and shopping and i'm tired of it i'm ready to like get back to normal life and do stuff with our horses what do you think sophie so we got a notebook. I made Sam clean up all his computer section today. Gabby's been doing her homework, her schoolwork. That's what she likes to do. Keeps her away from me, who's like, clean this, clean that. Honestly, it is so bright outside. Winter is so bright. That's the one thing I hate about winter. But anyways, we are headed out today again because we always have last minute gifts to buy. I'm pretty much done shopping, except for groceries. And today, I'm go we're going out to get something for Brandon, who's our coach, our beloved coach. And we always want to take something to him on our last day of lessons for the holiday, before the holidays. So also, before we get shopping, because the girls are with us too, Sophie wants to get some stuff for the dogs, and Gabby just comes because she's, whoops, because she loves to shop. But anyways, I wanted to tell you guys something last night. I wish I had videoed it. Last night after I edited, after I finished editing, I went upstairs in my room to finish wrapping Christmas presents. So I was wrapping Christmas presents minding my own business i bought some things for the dog they were just a few tug toys so i had these tug rope toys and i left them on the couch and i went upstairs to wrap a christmas presents i needed to get it done and a few minutes later gabby came up and she said mom did you want the dogs to have these tug toys and i said no and she said molly had taken them both off the couch and she had them and she was playing with them so then we took them and brought them into my room. I didn't want Gabby to come into my room because I didn't want her to see the presents I was wrapping. So I said, just throw it into my room and it'll be fine. Five minutes, five minutes goes by and Sam's downstairs and he says, Laura, did you want the dogs to have these toys? And I said, no, how did they get them? I didn't even notice that they came into my room and they got them. So then I hid the toys in my closet. I hid them in my closet. I'm not even joking, hid them in my closet. I left the bath, my closet door open because I was still wrapping presents. So. There goes Gabby throwing hay. <laughs> That's a lot of hay. No a joke, like five times the dogs, Daisy and Molly, kept coming into my room, searching everywhere for those dumb tug toys, and they were obsessed with them. Finally, we got them put away. Sophie hid them in her room, <laughs> hid them in her room, and we were for sure like the dogs were not gonna get them. 
I wake up this morning and one of the tug toys is all chewed to bits on the living room floor. I'm like, yeah, that was a lost cause. So today we want to get them a lot of those rope tug toys. I'll show you guys when we get to the store what they are, but apparently our dogs are obsessed with them. Saying about those tug toys we had yesterday and how the dogs would not leave them alone and that we woke up this morning and they were actually in the living room chewed up, one of them. No, that was last night. Oh. We came downstairs last night and it was chewed up. Yeah, so we're gonna get more of those, right? Yeah, I had one for Daisy. And there you have it, friends. This is what I buy Brandon every single year. It's to the liquor store near us so that he can buy himself a drink for Christmas or some few drinks for Christmas. Yesterday, I used up the last of the wrapping paper and I was like, I'm all done shopping. I don't need to get any more wrapping paper. And here we are buying wrapping paper. We need tape too. We need tape too. And I'm going to the dog toys. She's got a whole list. She's got a list, you guys. Orange. All right, so we've got, yesterday we got this and this. Orange and they went crazy there. over them. Get easy, this one. That one was destroyed so fast. I say we get more of the tug toys, like the ropes. Those ropes last Molly for a long time. And our yeah, dogs love easy. toys. All right, there's one. Get her like Those don't one. last. Oh, I love that one. She loves the family. I know, and Gabby wants me to grab something for Molly that is a squeaky toy and for Ruby. And these are kind of, this is a squeaky bone, apparently. Why can't it squeak? I like it though, it's really cool. I'm gonna get that too. I'm going for it, I'm going for this one. The only problem with this one, even though this is adorable, it'll get so dirty so fast. Dogs. Our dogs drag them everywhere. I've officially lost Sophie. She does this. She runs off and then buys what she wants and I'm not there to stop her. Aha, uh -huh. what'd you get? Dental bones and peanut butter flavored dog treats. They're like dental bones and, and peanut butter flavored dog treats. And there's a silver one. Those are cute. All right, are we ready to roll? Um, We're ready to go. Let's go, because I have more to do today. Almost, I just want to Because I need another thing for your stocking. One more thing okay, the stocking. dog has a, a stocking, for goodness sake, full of lots of stuff. I don't think we need any more stuff for her. Let's see if Sophie looks good in glasses. I mean, other than the thing hanging over your nose, they're cute. Can you see in them? Well, when I move around, it's blurry. Oh, I don't like them. That right there is one of the tug toys that I got last night. You might be thinking, like, your dogs are almost three years old, that there's no need for them to have that many toys. But here's the thing. At night, when our family slows down and we gravitate to our iPads or watching television or playing video games with our friends online, our dogs settle down too. Our puppies, the ones that are all turning three this year, they all go and grab toys. They all go grab toys except for Ruby. The Dalmatian and the Border Collie always grab toys at the end of the day. And Molly will sit there and chew a rope toy like that for hours. And Daisy will take her tug toys to Sam, who's always sitting in that chair, and she will get him to throw it and tug it with him and play with it for hours. And that's what our dogs do every single night. Those are for Chris. Oh, is that the one that we got last night? So uh, the one that we got last night, they've already, one of the ones that we got last night, they've inherited already. They got it early because that's what they love to do. <laughs> she takes it when to her crate. With the toy, she misses and she bites my hands. And Ruby, who is a little bit older, Ruby, who is eight years old, she likes a good squeaky toy and she doesn't really care for the tug toys. And she likes to sleep at night when we all settle down, whereas the other ones like to play. Right, Rubes? Right? She wants to cuddle up on the couch beside you or cuddle up in your bed get, beside you. Get.
remember when we used to make those videos in the winter time especially when we were stuck in our house and we couldn't go out it's beautiful outside today but today I wanted to do something different for you guys and we're gonna see like after all these years do our dogs actually love us the way that they used to love us you guys know Stop. the girls got new puppies a couple of years ago COVID puppies and they were responsible for training them and for bringing them up and we're gonna see do they actually still really like their girls or do they not care are they family dogs okay so if you guys remember this is how we do this all the time we used to do this even when the kids were little with our chihuahuas and I've got Daisy here, right here with me. Whoa, whoa puppy. Okay, so how it works is that they're gonna call Daisy, if you guys don't remember, Daisy is deaf, Daisy the deaf Dalmatian, and they're both gonna call her with their hands. Show me the sign for come. <laughs> she's trying to, she's, look it. She's ready to go. <laughs> Hold on. So whoever Daisy chooses when they call her is the winner, is who she loves best. Oh. She's not gonna come to me. I called her. Okay, switch spots and we're gonna try it again. Switch spots. Yeah, Round two, Daisy knows that they have treats, so let's see who she goes to. You guys both do the she sign. She winked at me. Go, she winked at you? All right. I wish you guys could see. She's staring straight at me. She's staring, okay, go. Uh, at least she looked at me. Oh, she looked at you. All right, it is clear that Daisy likes Sophie first, but then she'll go wherever the treats are. All right, who should we try next? Let's try Molly. So now we have Molly the Border Collie. See, Daisy the Deaf Dog and Molly. Wait, wait, you're making her crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, we're gonna see who she goes to. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Straight to her older. Holly. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. She's like, get her out of here. You're Molly. Three, two, Molly, go one, here. go. Okay. She likes to spot. Molly goes to whoever is the closest. Okay. Ruby, We're ready Ruby, to do Ruby, Ruby the Golden Ruby, Doodle. All right, so we've changed spots, and we're gonna see who the heck Ruby Doodle. Ruby, come here. Ruby, Ruby, come here. Come on. Go. Ruby, come here. 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 Come So uh, Ruby has spoken. She doesn't care. I feel like Ruby really doesn't care. Um, okay. So who cares about who she goes? You guys might remember. Some of you guys might remember that when we first got Ruby, she loved Gabby above all else. And ever since we got our COVID puppies, I feel like it's just been a big, a big change for all of them. Ruby is a family dog through and through. What do you guys buy your dogs for Christmas? And do you buy your dogs something for Christmas every year? Tonight we are headed to the lesson barn and we got some carrots for all the lesson horses for a Christmas gift from us. This is Gabby's last lesson before Christmas holidays. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 